I'm your host, Dwayne Copefield, and I'm tapping in. Yes, indeed, it is April 11th, 7 p.m. in the wonderful city of Los Angeles. Hope all is well. For those who are joining us for the first time, please share this with someone who may be of interest. Those who are listening for the first time, man, share this with someone, leave us a review. We certainly would appreciate it. What's cracking, everybody? Those who are watching the live, man, make sure you guys put your city where you tapping in from. Uh, definitely appreciate you for doing that. And then, um, yeah, man, it's been a really, really eventful week. Um, learned a lot, of course, and and today's topic is a good one, man. And we'll talk. It it kind of what's going on, Samuel. Um, it kind of ties in with a lot of things that we're dealing with right now. Um, you know, in terms of, you know, staying on our path, because we all know, man, the closer we get, man, the more the enemy attacks us, man. And that Will Smith lesson, we got that right. We, we picked up on that. But one of the main things was we knew that before, or at least I have, man, I've been wrestling with this enemy, man. I did an inventory, uh, how long I've been wrestling with this fool, man. And it's been, <laughs> it's bananas, man, be, for how long it's, it's been going on. Right. And it's been going on for since I was a kid, man. And you start to think back of how many things that have trying to throw you off from what you've been trying to do in terms of, um, you know, your, 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 your path, your destiny. And, and you're like, why is this fool always on me? And it's always something, right? It's how you were born. It's the circumstances you were brought up in. It's all these things that were challenging you. Right. And when you go back to think about it, you're like, man, but I tell you what, the only thing that has made me who I am, you know, generally were the obstacles that I've overcome, right? That I've, the, the, the challenges that I'm like, nah, that's not going to stop me, right? That's made me who I was, right? A lot of cats like, man, how, why and how are you different? This is how I differentiate myself, man. I try to, I try to finish in spite of, right? <laughs> I try to complete it no matter what, no matter what the circumstances are, right? I don't take no well. That's coming from a kid. I, you know, I just, it's always been like that, right? I, I just don't, I don't take kind to know, right? I don't believe in no's. I believe in not right now's. I believe in may not be your time at this time, but I don't believe in a straight hard no, right? Cause, because it wouldn't be on my mind. I wouldn't be trying to pursue it. N none of that stuff had it not be for that, um, that drive, right? That drive, that, that, that overall I need to get to this. Right. <laughs> um, so, you know, that was, that was like, I, you know, I would say of all the things that I, I really picked up, it's my tenacity, right. Just, just my willingness to finish what we started, right. No matter what. And a lot of times I think that that's, that's what separates any kind of individuals. What's going on, Tanisha? I appreciate you guys. So today, man, we're talking about that higher road, man, which is, that's a tough one for everybody, right? Taking the higher path, taking the, the road less traveled, if you will, right? Because everybody always wants to give back, right? We feel like we're God, right? In a sense, we could be because we have the free will, the ability to choose, the ability to bite back, the ability to stab, the ability to some of us even have whistles, right? Literally, right? Or figuratively, right? We want to bust back. And one of the things that we have to come to terms with is, man, we got to leave that stuff to God <laughs> as, as difficult as it may be. And there's a lot of things that I'm like, man, I struggle with on a day to day basis. And me and God know because I pray on it every day. Like there's a lot of things that I feel like I should get revenge for, you know, and these cats are still walking around. So it's like, you know, and I'm like, man, <laughs> and I'm like three or four times as smarter than I was when they did it. And I'm like, you know, you start and I'm like, well, wait a minute. You know, here I am going down that path, even thinking like that, like, okay, I'm a boom, boom. And I'm going to do, I'm going to go here, here, and here, <laughs> you know, I'm out and I'm like, that ain't you dude. That's, that's the suggestion of this other fool, right? Cause he wants you to go there, there, and there. He wants you to pull off something sweet. The way you've been thinking about, you know, trying to stay away from that thought, but that revenge is something else, you know, that need to, to, to balance things out. And who are we to play that? Right. You know, who are we to play that role to where what's going on? Anthony, appreciate you tapping in brother, as always. 
uh, but who are we to play God? Who are we to play? You know, I got to get you tip for tap. And I'm going to tell you right now, that stuff has cost me. One of the things that I will stress to everybody and everybody listening, everybody watching, relationships are everything, right? And a lot of times we feel like we got to pay people back. We feel like we got to do things. So there's two things that happen then. Whoever we're giving that revenge to and then the people that are watching, right? Trying to determine what type of character we have. So there's not only that, there's other people that are watching to see what are you going to do? How are you going to respond to that? Right. And I remember that. You guys remember the tough guy role, right? Oh, man, you got to go hit him. I see cats. They still in jail from some revenge shit. Still locked up. And everybody never forgot about him. But they had to go get such and such back. I got to go get him. I got to. I got to get him. Okay. And then they end up getting all day and the homies forget about him instantly. Right. It's that thing when the enemy leaves, as soon as you start, they start talking time. Matter of fact, as soon as the police put the handcuffs on that fool out of there, he won't even ride with you to the police station. So a lot of times when we're thinking about revenge or, you know, getting down in the mud with somebody, we don't feel better when we win the battle of criticism, right? I roasted you better. I got them back. Ha, ha, ha. That doesn't ultimately make us feel good because what we're doing at that point is we're starting to potentially damage our good karma. Right. Because now we got mud on our hands, blood on our hands. Because it takes two. Right. We got it. And it's it's let me tell you, it is one of the most difficult things to take the higher path. Probably in your entire life, it's going to be one of the more difficult things that you do. Right. Taking that taking that road and saying, nah, you know what? I'm going to give you a path. I've been approached. And the thing about it is this is the thing about the devil is. As you start to Heisman and move around and get your neo matrix on around some of these things, the the intensity turns up. So then he starts to send different people, right? And this is the thing, right? This is the thing about the enemy. He'll send the past, and the past doesn't give two shits about what you're up to right now. Nah, it wants to drag you back, right? So I've been approached a few times with some past things, and I'm like, where is this shit coming from? And I got to realize, I already know who's on the other side of that. I know who's orchestrating that because I know how it strategically comes. And I was just talking to my wife about that earlier today. And I was like, man, this fool uses four or five things. And I said, you know what? But those are the four or five tests that I haven't passed yet. Right? Because I I shouldn't be letting those things affect me. So once I pass those tests, I'm assuming God's going to move me on. He's going to move me on to what I need in terms of my blessings. So that's the key right there, right? So you got to pass your test. And a lot of times it's that get back, right? Normally we, somebody, you know, cut us off in traffic, we cut them off, right? They got to feel what we feel. And that's the thing about miserable people. That's why they try to approach you with bullshit because they want you to feel how they feel. So you got to really, sometimes you got to feel empathy for miserable, mad, whatever kind of cats because they're just trying to make you feel the same way they feel because it sucks. And they want some company. they like, man, it's lonely and sucking. And you look like you're having a good time. Let me ruin that shit for you. Right? And they'll come at you sideways. And it's almost to the point where you want to call them out. You want to say, man, let me explain something to you. I mean, I'm on some other shit right now. And here you come with this sideball shit. What is, what? What is, how is this contributing what I'm up to right now? Bring up past shit. Oh, oh. Let me tell a story of your most embarrassing moment. This is this is how your past comes at you. They ain't going to tell you a heroic story. They're going to come with some bullshit. This is how I cut a lot of cats off because they come. I'm like, the only story you got is when we did that. That's the only one, huh? Well, obviously, we ain't up to date because since then I've done X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, X, Y. And that's how you have to. So in, in a sense, you got to say, you know what? I'm not even going to respond to that. I'm not even going to bite. You know what I'm saying? You got to think of yourself in a in a in an ocean of of competitors. Are you going for the bait, right? Are you falling for the okie doke that the, that the enemies always tricked you with? Same exact thing. You start to notice a pattern. You're like, man, that's the kind of stuff that makes me mad. And it oh, and if I get mad right now, I miss exactly what's going on right now. My kids going to ballet. You know what I'm saying? You miss the important stuff because. He has your mind so messed up on the path. Now you frustrated. He like, I know what I can get him to throw off. 
because if he sees this, that's going to make him happy and he's going to know God is in the house. So I got to throw him off from that, man. I got to shake him up. Let me throw some past shit at him. Oh, I know bills piss you off. Let me cut off your shit, <laughs> right? I know this is going to make you mad. Let me cut. Let me do this. And he just poke at you constantly. And you got to constantly be looking like, you know what? I got to practice. So I got to figure out, let me take this other road. Because the normal route I take is open up a can of whoop ass and then I don't feel any better. Or the normal road that I take is some revenge stuff. I got to pay him back and I don't feel any better. Let me try a different approach. Let me go the complete opposite direction. Act like I didn't even hear that. Oh, hey, man, you know what? I'm going to wish you the best, my brother. God bless you, man. That's awesome, man. And turn the other way and take the higher road. When somebody's cussing you out and wishing you death and wishing you, why respond? Because now you're putting yourself in a position that we're, okay, now we both working for this fool. I see he he didn't got your mind all screwed up. Got you out here talking crazy. Bring I see you all miserable. You know what I'm saying? And usually miserable, that's the enemy all over, right? Because God doesn't deal in misery. He deals in lessons and blessings, period. <laughs> you dig? So it's not even about misery. If you see somebody going through misery, man, they fighting with the enemy and they don't even know it. You got to fall back sometimes, man, because you can get in the mix. And next thing you know, you like, damn, man, here I am all out of, out of character. Here I am all out of, I'm about to go. Wait a minute, man. You was just planning this. And now you I'm submitting to conferences. What am I doing talking about this? What am I doing even fantasizing about going to light one of these little dudes up? You know what I'm saying? Now I'm off path. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I'm completely off my and he wins. He wins. He want to throw you off so bad that you're going to end up doing something to damage any type of opportunity that shows God was in the building. Any type of miracle that can flip your life around, man. I just saw one of the homies say he said one of the most gangster things he's done was turn his life around. Hands down, period. You know what I'm saying? And we're all God's miracles when we're turning our lives around on some impossible shit. Like, dog, I, I thought you was, you know what I'm saying? I thought you was done. I, you was You stayed doing this. I remember one of my homegirls, shout out to the homegirl. She was like, I remember I went down to San Diego. And she was like, Dwayne, you're still doing that? And she remembers me from junior high school. And I check, I'm like, damn, I guess I am. That's been a long ass time. I'm still at this shit. You know what I mean? And it, it woke me up. You know what I mean? And she knows who she is, but this, I'm like, man, I had to check myself. Like, damn, I'm still, I need to get an update. And that's basically what she was saying. And that's our processing unit. That's our mental processing unit, right? We need updates. The Tesla's constantly updating itself, right? Computers are constantly updating themselves. Phones are constantly updating themselves. We need to pick a different path, right? And oftentimes, it's take that higher path, homie. You could save both lives, yours and mine, right? Take the higher path, man. You want the gas pump? Don't sit up. Cast and lost their lives over gas pumps, homie. Gas pumps. Because they didn't want to take the higher road. You know what I'm saying? When keeping it real goes wrong, right? Watch the Dave Chappelle episode. Because they didn't want to take the higher path. I got to keep this rocking. I got to keep getting low with you. You say an insult, I say one back. It's hard, to, it's hard to argue with somebody who doesn't respond to you. It's almost impossible to tango with them. So I just don't respond. I remove myself from the situation, man. You can have all the misery you want. You're not even going to respond to me? man. And that's the key. You got to make sure you understand, hey, man, how many different ways can I take the higher path? I've been insulted at work, right? And you want to get back at cats. Let me tell this fool, man. I remember this professor who I went and asked about research about. I was talking to him. He was like, basically shot me down, man. Ain't no way they going to do research with you here. Da, 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 da. If you're trying to get tenured here, it's not going to happen. Wherever you get your PhD, they're not, they'll never hire you. It's a bunch of negative, negative, negative. Then he comes to my class. I still I take the higher path in that sense. Comes to my class, tries to embarrass me. You guys want to know more about sales? I'm like, this is a sales class. I'm inviting you in as just because you got some other stuff you're talking about. And he tries to dog me out from my class. So at this time, I'm knowing it's the enemy. This is when I first started teaching. He constantly trying to embarrass me. Then he comes at me the next semester with a flunky job. Hey, man, I'm trying to put this stuff together. And I figured that you can work this job. 
I'm just I just quit responding to him. Because if I keep responding, I'm not going to be able to take the higher path because it's just a constant push. But you got to understand when that's going on, who was pushing those buttons? Who knows? He's being disrespectful to me, right? I'm a street cat. You can't do that. You know what I mean? So your mentality is different. Now I'm in a different element. I'm in academia, right? Where these are a bunch of nerds and chicken shits for the, excuse my French, but these, that's what, there's a lot of nerds here or people who have done a different route. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of hard heads. And, and I'm not going to say they're more solid than others. Cause I've seen them, you know, flaws in their systems too. But I had to take the higher road in that sense because professionally, I don't know who's watching, right? It could be my dean watching to see how our interaction is. Why well, should I give Dwayne a try? He doesn't work well with others. So I did. I just backed up. I, you know what? I got a lot going on. Still kept the professional cordial, but cordially said F you. And that's the thing, right? So if you can't take the higher path, you got you to gotta cordially say it, right? You got to get strategic, right? And these are called soft skills which a lot of people don't engage in developing their soft skills. So they still come across um, with, with a lack of self-awareness, right? Where they're not aware of what they're doing, not aware of the time they're calling, not aware of, you know, the intrusion that they're presenting, right? This lack of awareness. When you work on your soft skills, you be diplomatic. You know how to answer emails. You know how to respond to people in professional environments. There's a skill set to it, right? A lot of us street or black folks, Hey, <laughs> we don't know, right? We're not polished in that sense, right? So those are things that we need to work on. I taught a class on soft skills, email, resumes, the whole nine. I talked forever about that kind of stuff. And I've had to learn through professional fumbles. I've responded to emails at night in the dark and woke up the next day to six or seven typos. I responded with a reply all singling someone out when I shouldn't have replied at all. Because now there's record. There's and a lot of people don't understand. I'm a rip them a new ass. You ain't ripping nobody's ass but yourself, right? If you got something to say, tell it to somebody in their face, and be careful with that. There's there's this this like I don't play checker by checker rules anymore. Everything is chess now. Everything, right? There's a method and in, in a madness to how I move, where I move, who I move with, if I move with anybody at all. And lately, what I've been moving with is all family, right? Because I don't have time for a lot of fluctuations and my time is limited and I don't want to miss anything, right? So that's the, that's kind of what I've been on. And I've been figuring this is my platform to tell other people about what I've been doing so that I can share. Other than that, I don't have a lot of time, right? If I'm going to weigh between, it's going to be the fam, right? Of course, and as you should too. And don't get upset when somebody tries to call you. You got to live your life, man. It's yours, right? In that book, um, um, The Courage to Be Disliked, that's one of the things you got that it talks about. You got to live your life according to you. You shouldn't worry about who you piss off. You're not living life for them, right? And it talked about, um, there's a, uh, what's the term that he used? He uses a term called um, like their own uh, things that they need to accomplish in life, right? You shouldn't help people with those things, right? So, uh, task. That's what he called them task. And basically what he talks about is, um, like your kids, right? One of the tasks is learning how to tie shoes. And if you helping them constantly, because you're in a rush, right? You're trying to get them out the door. They're always late for school and they they don't accomplish that task, but you try to accomplish it for them. You're actually hurting them more than you're helping them. Right? So a lot of times we need to back away from people in order to help them. Us being there consistently being that crutch is not done knowing anything, but enabling them. Right. And it takes a lot. It takes the courage to be disliked, to walk away from people in order to, for them to become what they want to become. Right. Because they're constantly leaning on you or they're constantly using you. They're constantly whatever the case may be. Right. But they're not accepting the task at hand, which has become a better person, which has become pick up better hobbies. Right. We should come together and be like, oh, shit, I didn't even know that you put me up on game, but I shouldn't come to you and, say, and hear myself. Then I'm defeating the purpose, right? You should go out there and explore a game, bring it back, right? Some talented tense shit. You go back, go out, explore, bring it back to the neighborhood. A lot of people forget about W.E.B. Du Bois in that sense, right? What he was talking about and what he meant by that, right? We go learn. We go different circles, white circles, Latino, Asian. We go pick up game from everywhere. Come back, bring it back to a spot like this or a platform like this and collaborate. 
Change game, man. I got this book. Here's a book that I'm reading, right? People should be putting that in chat. I'm ex- I'm asking more of you guys. Put your books in the chat so that everybody can exchange games. This is what I'm reading this week. I just grabbed a book that D suggested. I'm on auto uh, atomic habits. I'm on this. I'm on that, right? Oh, did you check this out, right? This should be an exchange game. How else are we going to get our iron sharpened? And that's the game right there, right? So I'm always looking to, and I could come on here and talk more about it and pinpoint out and, and low key point people out, but I'm going to take the higher path and figure out how I can benefit everyone, right? Because everything that God sends at me, I use as weapons for us, right? So anytime there's a challenge for me, I come back and use it as a lesson for the homies, for the homegirls. Here's what I learned. Here's how God came at me. What's up, South Central? I see you, John. It's cracking on me. This is what I've learned, right? So I take what I've learned, go out there in society, go out there and and and, and get my scrapes and bruises, and then come back and got tell you guys about it and what I learned, and hopefully that you can do the same thing. You go out there and use your lessons, right? Because God doesn't deal, deal with anything but blessings and lessons. Let's keep that in mind. That's it. That's he's in the blessings and lessons business, and if you ain't getting a blessing, you're getting a lesson. But other than that, that other fool just comes with suggestions. He just comes with past stuff. He just comes with that. Where the hell did you come from? What? Why this story? Because you are about to do something amazing, Mike. He saw you about to do something amazing. He see God at the finish line smiling about to high five you. He throwing everything he can, including the wind at you. He doesn't want to see you finish. He doesn't want to see you start. So you notice when you're getting in between, even in the in between, when you're in the, the, the if you haven't read the, um, um, I can't think of the title right now. Um, it's the, uh, I'll think of it in a minute. Um, but when you're in the wastelands, as they call it, right? When you're in, the, in between that space where you, you're, you're, too, you're too far away from the goal where you can't see it, but you know you're too far away from where you started that there's no retreat. When you're in that spot, right, that wasteland, that's when he really comes at you, right? Asking you, man, you, in a, you, you sure you did the right thing? You sure you want to do this? And oftentimes that's in relationships too, right? The, the, most people can't stand the tornadoes in the wind. Hey, tap out. Oh, divorce, man. I'm out of here. Not even realizing what that person was going to become. You already write them off. I'm done, man. What? Things aren't what they look like when they first begin. Man, come on. Put some work in, homie. For real. Yeah. And I'm with you. And yeah, new, new levels bring new. Absolutely. More crafty. They always he he's got multiple faces, but the only thing this is the key. He only has the past and what used to piss you off. So if it's respect, expect him to disrespect you for, by somebody who you generally don't like. Right. That that picture of it. Right. It's going to be somebody cuts you off. Somebody that doesn't say thank you. That one thing that really irks the shit out of you. He's been studying you as long as you've been born. And he's going to see he's got notes. OK, let me he does like a little search. OK, uh, irritate morning irritations. He's got all kind of notes. <laughs> OK, this piss him off. Uh, uh, a swallow in a container like the, on Harlem Nights, right? The orange juice <laughs> swallow in the container pisses him off. Somebody goes in there, leaves the bathroom. I'm He doing all that, especially when you have something big. <laughs> when you got something big that. Is, is potentially going to be a game changer for everybody in the fam, including everybody around you. Expect the kitchen sink. Expect everything. But just understand, though, you have to take the higher path. Why? Because there's so much on that higher path that isn't on that lower path. And what I mean by that is that it's lessons. It's because if when you even with something you potentially think doesn't go I'd be like, man, well, this doesn't go right. This, da, 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 da. You like, what's the alternative? What Like, what else can I do? What can I learn in this situation? I learned how to let stuff go. I learned how not to argue with people. I learned how to take a different approach to it. I learned how to look at things from their perspective. Man, maybe they're miserable. Maybe they're going through depression. Maybe they're really depressed. And they, nothing that comes out of them is any good, but they got something psychological going on. You know, when you change your perspective of people and you don't take things personal, like what we get, The Four Agreements, Don McGarry Ruiz. Don't forget about that book. That book is a classic, right? First one of the first thing. Don't make assumptions. Always speak the impeccable word. 
what else was it? Uh, uh, don't make a don't take anything personal. Always speak to impeccable word. Don't make assumptions. And uh, there's one more I, I can't don't recollect. But I'm really making it on the don't take things personal. People come at you based on what's going on with them. Take the higher path. It has nothing to do with you. So that's why flattery is so dangerous. Take the higher path. You don't know why somebody's gassing you up. <laughs> it don't have anything to do with you because you was a motherfucker, whether they said so or not. That's the thing about it. Whether they whether they acknowledge it or not, you should still be that cat. Right. And that's what I say. Like, man, you, whether you whether you approve it, somebody calls, man, you doing great. I was doing great with with or with your without your acknowledgement. And that's not that's that's that that's where that book, The Courage to Be Disliked, talks about. Like, I don't need recognition. That's for you. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I just need to continue to do what I'm doing. I'm I'm looking on some longevity stuff. I'm doing laps right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing laps in the pool of life, homie. Period. So I'm staying consistent every Monday. I come do some laps with y'all. Right. It's in and, and more people catch on. So be it. If not, then we'll just be doing laps until I get tired. But I'll constantly be giving you what God's given me because he's always giving me something because I've learned to pay attention. I understood that there's only blessings and lessons. That's it. <laughs> right. And that's the key. Yeah, they do. They have people. They, I, I think I don't you know, I think people in general. When they don't, when when they're when they can't appreciate what you're doing and just say, you know what, you're doing your thing. Um, when they gotta add stuff to it or try to, you know, there's a lot of different things they can do to kind of diminish what you're doing. One main thing is your little, all right, your little house. Oh, I see you got your little job. Oh, I see you got your oh, you got your little business. How your little business doing? Right? It, that's the kind of those are those are triggers. <laughs> Those are triggers, right? People are always doing that kind of stuff. Oh man, you know, you are you guys profitable? The little just like somebody asked me, you teach at a real university? Just little stuff. I'm like, no, nah, I teach it. I teach it a plastic one, actually. You know, one like the little Lego ones. That's the yeah. You know, but but that's getting down there with them. You don't have to return an insult with an insult. You could turn you could return an insult with understanding. And saying that if if you weren't effed up inside, you wouldn't be insulting people, right? So I'd rather be un in an understanding position than be in yours. Because if I feel like I got to retaliate and punch you in the gut as well, mentally, physically, or whatever, then that's, that's a part of me that I'm not trying to experience. And you had to take me there, which means that you're controlling me, right? So I should be at peace with myself, my moves, the entire thing. You understand what I'm saying? But when somebody gets you out your zone, right, gets you out your comfort zone, gets you out of character, that's the enemy. He poking at you. Period. Enemy that will never ask you what you up to with great, like with great concern. Like, yeah, man, what you, what you up to? They always on some paths. Always. Never talks about future plans because he doesn't know shit about the future. He has no idea what God's going to take you. None. So that's the problem right there. So when you know when something's coming from the past, an old enemy smile with an old story or just old shit and period, then man, you ain't up to date. Man, pray for them. Pray for yourself and then pray for them. You know what I'm saying? Ask God to get you out of the situation that you're currently in, you being attacked. And then pray for them to say, man, this cat is not only being attacked, but he's up under the spell of this fool. Help this cat before he keep doing damage out here. Because if you're talking to me like that, and I'm bulletproof, because I understand what pop was popping with God, man, you can't touch me, homie, at all. Period. Ever. I'm, 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 and me and you both know that. So once I understand that, then I ain't worried about what you can do, Psh, man, homie. You get lost. But I'm worried about what the enemy can have you doing to other people, which is messing their minds up. A lot of people in leadership positions have control, and they can mess people's minds up. Right. It's the dangerous part about this thing. Right. The gift and the curse, man. You can lead an army, but you can also take it down as well. Right. Take down people, a path to destruction. One of the things I'm trying to do is write my karma now with this. Right. I got to do more good than I did bad. Cass is watching me. Just like anybody else. Right. So I'm making moves, doing this and this and that. That's starting to be the thing to do. I got to write that wrong. 
So I got to spend more time doing laps with y'all every Monday to right my wrongs. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the goal. I did it in juvenile hall. I was five, six years straight in juvenile hall talking every time. Goal setting. I got cards, pictures, the whole nine. I've been at this for a minute, this redemption shit. This ain't something that that's now it's becoming more of a um a, a consistency. I'm trying to see how long I can do it. I'm into marathon stuff now, right? That's what I'm trying to do with this. But I understand that God's giving me messages on a regular basis every single day. Here, man, here's something. I sit up there and think, well, what are you you I don't need a producer. I don't need that. I the one thing I love about this is that I got total control over it. I can deliver a message whenever I want to. And the enemy can't stop me. He tries, he tries to mess with my lighting. He'll try to mess with this. He was on, he'd been on me. He uh, I had two tours this weekend. The sounds went out. Got into two, you know, just all kind of little, little, like I said, a thousand little slashes to try to make you bleed to death. But I'm bulletproof. Bulletproof. You can't fade me. As long as I got God, uh, have God available, that's it. That's all I need. I got a prayer line. Get cracking. If I get other people to call, man, he may move a little faster, so I need other people to pray for me. I don't need anybody, and that's the reason why you take the higher path it, as well. You don't need anybody wishing no dirt on you, right? I hope he loses. My, you can keep that to yourself if you really feel like that, but I low-key think you're confused right now. I low key think you don't understand that God is blessing everybody. You just keep turning your back to him and starting to look for handouts from this other fool, which is a lot easier because the path to God and, 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 and blessings is work, homie. And it's not only work from a physical standpoint, it's mental work, right? What do I believe? What do I believe in? Who do I believe in? Right? You see certain people and everybody like, oh, man, you talk. Man, you listen to Prince, you talk to Diddy, you talk to any any the moguls, man, they talk about God just as much because they get it. The only way you can get them massive blessings is through God. You can't get them through man. Man's going to hate on you first. Plug hate. Anybody remember plug hate? Would a plug start hating on you, buy too much, they start salting you up. Yeah, it's a reality. God ain't that kind. He got plenty, plenty. And when somebody tells you try to put a cap on your shit, limitations, Nah, homie, there's no cap on my here. Would you like some? Don't put a cap on my drink because I'm going to keep pouring. God, I, I know where the faucet is. You don't. Let me show you, though. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to come to my faucet because mine going to pour my drink. But you need to go to yours. You, where's yours? I mean, you need to talk to God. I could point you in the right direction, show you how this shit works. Show you how it's it's limit. There ain't no limits on this. Blessings, man. Just turn it on, dog. And ask for some, man. It's, it switches flavors. It does all that. You think the soda machines at the movie theater come with the mix? Man, ask for some. Watch what happens. It's coming. Don't block your blessings by getting down in the dirt with somebody feeling like you got to pay them back. And even on the smallest scale, don't fuck revenge. You don't need that's not your job. That is not your job. Karma, <laughs> slow as a snail, and, man, taps that ass and does a precision job every time. You do it messy, right? You got feelings involved. You just, man, leave it alone. You ain't good at the revenge business, so step away from it, right? That's not, the, the intentions are wrong. Karma's just like, man, let me keep this shit balanced. Oh, okay, you messed up over here. Okay, we'll go, I'll catch up with you in about another 10 years, and I'm going to balance all this shit out. That's how karma works. Right? But you, on the other hand, nah, homie, let that go. Right? You get blood on your hands, emotions. Whoop, you mess up your karma. Nah. And that's intentional-based, right? So even if you prevent my intention is to hurt them, that's still an intention. Because they did, I don't, we ain't, you know, the justification is unnecessary, killer. I don't need you to justify what's your intent. My intent is to pay them back. Oh, okay. So you going to perform miracles too? No, I don't. Well, then get out the God business. That ain't your shit either. Revenge and God are two things that you ain't about. So leave them alone. Now, there's a plenty of cats on death row and God L's and all that. We're amateurs about revenge too, right? Oh, I'm a dude. You go talk to them. Revenge doesn't pay. 
at all. <laughs> so get out that business as soon as possible. Like I said, even on a smaller scale, it will it will block your blessings like a church hat. <laughs> I'm telling you. So stay out of that business, man. Only thing we, man, you got you it, like as you said, when you walk on the light, you won't run a trip over stuff. It, you wouldn't, you ain't gonna trip over nothing. You're gonna see things, man. You're gonna slow down. You're gonna look at everything a little bit different, man. I was at the park yesterday, man, just smelling. I went to they had a hummingbird. This is at Kenanton in, in LA. You go to Kenanton, man, they got a hummingbird like thing where there's a bunch of hummingbirds, different kinds, and they all congregate there. Shit was lit. That's these are things you slow down for. Because you know I ain't gotta be in a rat race to get what I'm gonna get, man. Me and God and already got an agreement. He said, man, I'm give it, I'm gonna give you what you need. You don't, I want the 50 room mansion. No, you want to do that to stun on this cat. That's not what you want. <laughs> you want happiness. You want a backyard with plums in it. I love some plums. Like spreading that little, like just getting right a little hard. We and the homie, we used to light their backyard up because they, the homie Preston. Anyways, I'm, I'm digressing. Shout out to Preston, brother Darnell, San Diego, man. Back in the day, day, we used to play basketball with them cats a lot. But anyways, that's the thing, man. So we thinking what we want certain things, man. God's going to give you exactly what you're supposed to have when you're supposed to have it. We were wanting kids early in our relationship. And I remember I wanted kids early in my life. I'm like, man, <laughs> I'm so glad that that didn't happen. I'm, I'm praying to God and thanking God that things happen exactly when they did. Because his timing is so divine. Right. So divine. Right when you think you're not going to drink, he comes with a gallon of ice cold water for you. What extras? Right. It's like that. I have everything that I want. I don't. I, it's hard for me to people ask me, what do you want for your birthday? Oh, I, I'm straight. I don't need anything. Right. I want some sunflower seeds. You know, that's it. <laughs> because I don't need anything. Right? When you're good, you're good. And when you understand that even if you don't have it, God's going to give it to you when you're supposed to have you snaps. Walk in, dude. I'm straight. And get the naysayers out your conversation because you don't need people trying to damper and tamper with your mentality. Your mentality is everything how you think. Do you think, of, therefore, you get. It's that magical and that easy. So you got to train your mind or stay around people who have a different mindset, who believe things are possible. They're always going to take the higher road anyway. You see that, you know, it's ball and cast. They, they're never like, it's just like, whatever, man, it's cool. Because they don't have time to get down in the dirt because they understand the importance of keeping a clear head. When I get down in the dirt with you and feel like I got to play revenge, I got to emotionally get to a certain level. And I'm not trying to expend that kind of energy on your nothing ass or this is this amounts to nothing. Why would I expend that kind of energy? So my key is now. Nah, man, I ain't giving it that kind. I'm not because whatever I whatever I focus on is going to expand. So if I focus on whatever you coming at me sideways, I'll start thinking about more and more things. Right. And it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like a snowball effect. Right. To take up my whole day. Now I'm pissed, man. It's ate up your whole day, huh? And that's how the enemy is. Oh, you oh, you couldn't get that done. Oh, damn. For real. Like them haters, you'd be around. Oh, huh? you, oh you didn't get that done. It's how the enemy. Nah, man, I'm thinking about this shit all day, man. Homie, you have me hot. For real? Oh, man, damn. You've been thinking about it all day? Yeah. Cool. That's what he want. Think about something all day. Let it eat at you. Let it spill into your time with your children. Let it spill into your time with your loved ones. Let me just take over your whole mentality, period, so you ain't thinking about nothing but the disrespect that that cat did. Oh, man, I can't let that go, right? And it just keeps eating at you and eating at you and eating at you. And God's sitting back saying, man, all right, man, let me get that Scantron. <laughs> <Scrape. laughs> just put a big X over your shit. All right, Phil, all right, we'll, we'll come back in a week, man. We'll try it again. And they give you another chance. He'll give you another opportunity. You can't fail twice, three times. He'll give you as many times as you want. 
Keep failing like the DMV. Start over. Start the rotation over again. You keep failing. Remember when you keep failing the test? Those who failed the test? They'll keep starting you over and over again. Period. And that's the key right there. We got to take the higher path so we can pass that test. We stay on that higher road. Ain't nobody on that high road. Most people take most people get in the dirt with them. Take it, man. No matter what comes at you, man, there's always a better way. And as you reach that peak, like Denzel said, once you get to that peak point in your life, don't you doubt, man, that fool's going to throw everything at you. And that's when it's so important to take the higher path. Just think if Will Smith would have took the higher path. I could catch this cat outside. Or I could catch him at the gym. You know what I mean? Where it got nothing to do with the... You know what I mean? If, if you were going... It, even though, again, we suck at revenge. So let's knock that off. He could have just said, you know what? This cat feels like he got to get a lift off of me and her. And she been low key on some other stuff anyways. Let me just let this go. Because I can get my moment. Keep the focus on me winning my award. Because all the talk would have been about Will Smith finally winning the best actor award. Black men winning an award. The best one. Nobody talked about it. Mission accomplished. Enemies chilling now, man. Look, I fucked off Will Smith shit. I'm cool. That was a moment for all you cats. Y'all was about to feel pretty good, huh? Curveball. And he do it so subtle, though. Right? Because he know that people talking about her has been egging the shit out of him for a long time. And finally, finally, I got to that pressure point. Pop. I'm out. Good luck fixing this. That's how it works. No, man. Take that higher path, homie. Don't get involved, man. Don't go low with anybody. Go high. When they go low, go as high as you can. Show them that you dignify. You ain't about that shit. Show them that, man, I don't get into arguments anymore. I don't get into spats and disputes. I'm bigger and better than that. And start to think of yourself as a higher person. You, I'm, I'm a different level, homie. I'm I'm on something else, man. Y'all talking about 10 years ago. That's cool. Let me know when you guys get up to date. Right? And you don't have to be an a-hole to anybody. They know where they're at. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to call somebody a hater. You don't have to respond that way. They know they're a hater. They know they're a sucker. They know all this stuff. You ain't got to tell them none of that. You ain't got to even remind them. They good. They know it. Stay to your higher path so that you can get your blessings. Again, the book recommendation is the courage to be disliked. That's what I'm still reading. This is my, I keep rereading it over and over again. It talks about recognition. It talks about, so I'll show you guys again, then I'll show you guys the chapters, the courage to be disliked. Oh, hold on one second. Let me, let me, let me get to it. All right. So let me share this with you guys. Screen share. So, let me see. Let me show you guys the chapters. I don't know if you guys can actually hear that. So, what... So what I'm trying to do is, can you guys hear that? I don't know if you can or not. Hold on. <laughs> so I'm trying to let me show you guys the chapters. All right. I think it's important to show you guys the chapters. Let's see. Screen. Chrome tab, cloud player, yeah. Let me hide that. All right, so you guys can see right here. Um, let me go down so you can see. So you can see the chapters right here, the unknown third giant, people fabricate anger. People choose not to change. Unhappiness is something you choose for yourself. All problems are interrelation over problems. That's that's a really good chapter too. And this is probably one of the important ones. 
braggers have an inferiority complex and life is not a competition. And chapter 17, you're the only one worrying about your appearance. So it's a, it's got some really dope stuff um, in here that helps us just deal with ourselves, right? Um, but it's really good. It's it's actually low key excellent. So I encourage you guys. That's still my book of the book of the uh, actually week. I've been reading that. So I encourage you to tap in and look at that. Um, we'll be back next week for another week of the weekly tap. Uh, another episode of the weekly tap in. I certainly appreciate you guys tapping in. Couldn't do it without you. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. Um, also hit the notifications button. And also, if you can, please leave us a review um, if you're digging the content. Other than that, I am tapping out. I'll see you all next week.